you are a project manager reviewing a Pareto chart provided by your quality control team. The chart outlined the frequency of various defects in the electronic product manufacturing process. Okay. The identified defects are soldering errors, yeah, circuit design flaws, component failures, and packaging damage. Okay. The chart shows soldering errors contribute to around about 70% of all defects, circuit design uh, flaws at 15%, and component failure at 10%. And packaging damage at 5% and it is also noted that a recent efficiency drive has led to slightly slight modification in soldering and packaging process yeah. so what we are seeing here is that the question is trying to make or a test that do you understand what is Pareto chart yeah. some of you who don't work in a manufacturing process may start feeling uncomfortable when you see these words please don't get into the the noise of the question it's a simple there is a defect and there is a categorization of defect you can just consider defect category a b c d if you find little uncomfortable with soldering design flow packaging flow don't don't worry about them we can say okay and there is a one category which is showing 70 percent and there are other category which are showing less percentage and in a pareto way of working we understand we need to take care of those things first which gives us highest impact. So I get the category first one, which is talking about the soldering errors is, is something I should be worried about. The question is also indicating that you have done some work there and there was some improvement also. So let's look at the option. Given the information, what action should be your priority to enhance the manufacturing process efficiently? That's the question. Option A, overhaul the packaging process completely to minimize damage considering the recent changes. So say packaging is a 5%. Yeah, so yeah, it's good, but why should I work on something which is 5%? So I definitely uh, ignore that. Conduct a thorough analysis of soldering process to identify and address root causes of errors while evaluating the impact of recent efficiency measures. Great idea, simple. It is just saying that you know that 70% issues are related to soldering. Why don't you take care of it? Option B seems to be the right. I don't think we will get a better option, but let's go with it. Yeah. Option C, implement an advanced training program for the circuit design team to address the second most frequent defect category. So the question is saying, why don't you work on a second most def uh, frequent defect category? Now, this could be a little confusion because the question gave you an unnecessary hint that you have already worked on soldering and there was some improvement. Then some of you may start thinking, since we have already improved soldering, why don't we go to the second category? Even after improving the 70% contribution is coming. So I still need to worry about that 70% contribution rather than going to something which is 15%. Yeah. So circuit design uh, is, is a 15%, very, very far behind. So I still focus on soldering. I'm not focusing on circuit design as of now. Initiate a supply review process for potentially replace component supplies aim to reduce component failure rate. Again, component failure rate is, is something we are 10%. So in a simple, straightforward ma manner, I go with option B because I focus on working on something which can give me the maximum impact. So this particular question mapped to our process task seven, plan and manage quality of your products and deliverables. The topic is basically they are trying to judge that do you understand quality tools and specifically the Pareto chart. Mm -hmm.